A suspect is dead after being shot by a U.S. Marshal following a chase through the valley. It started as a shoplifting call in Mesa and ended near Sky Harbor where the suspect was killed. It is the second time that a marshal has shot someone in the valley in the last two weeks. The suspect's death is where the mystery begins. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is looking into it. And Colleen, there are many unanswered questions here. All we know for sure is the agency's account of what happened at the end. And we don't know right now why the U.S. Marshals were called in for what started out as a shoplifting call. Sky 12 over the scene where U.S. Marshals officials say a task force member shot and killed a suspect Wednesday afternoon after they say the suspect stole power tools from a Home Depot in East Mesa, pulling a knife on a loss prevention officer and taking off, leading law enforcement on a chase ending near Sky Harbor, where he's said to have used a car to push into a U.S. Marshals car. The marshal shot and killed the suspect. The marshals say, quote, our role simply became to provide support in apprehending an armed subject while working a different case in the area, deferring to an investigation to be completed by the Arizona Department of Public Safety. It's been fortunate Arizona when we did our project led in our database that your state unfortunately had the most shootings. Simone Weisselbaum is a reporter with the Marshall Project who investigated the U.S. Marshall Service for more than a year and built a database of incidents. Why are you sending out a Marshall's task force to help out with such a chase for someone suspected of stealing a power tool and unfortunately pulling a knife on an officer? Thank Weisselbaum, finding the way this situation happened is all too common. The U.S. Marshals still go by what DOJ standards are for use of force, which are still years old and they basically allow you to use lethal force when you feel under imminent danger. We did ask both DPS and the U.S. Marshal Service about the officer who shot and killed the suspect, as often task force members are employed at local police agencies. However, DPS deferred to the Marshal Service on preliminary information, saying their investigation is still in its early stages. The U.S. Marshal Service said that information may be available when DPS's investigation is complete. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.